Colonial history is one of violence, the devastation of land and resources, the enslavement of peoples, and the erasure of culture. Colonial powers transformed economies, allowing destruction to continue until today. We often think of colonialism as in the past, but our current global system is built on its foundations and recreates the same inequalities, just in different forms. The global north still dominates the global south and plunders their wealth. Lower income country debt is a legacy of colonialism and a key tool for those in power to maintain this system of extraction. Take Zambia. After decades of a struggle against British colonial rule, they won their independence in 1964, but were left with a weakened economy, vulnerable to economic shocks and reliant on high levels of borrowing. Zambia had some debt relief, but at a price. They were forced to adopt harmful economic reforms that were devastating for the people. All the while, nothing was done to fix the broken system that created debt in the first place. This is neocolonialism. And now Zambia is in debt crisis again, spending three times more on repaying debt than on healthcare. But it's not just Zambia. 53 other countries are in debt crisis facing the decision to fund health and education or repay debts to reckless lenders. But as before, people around the world are resisting calling for an end to neo-colonialist extraction, calling for debt cancellation and a fairer financial system. Taking action together, we can win debt justice. Join us.